What's up, everyone? War here again with another UU battle. I'm up against Prodigy, a guy that I'm um, versed just a couple of days ago. I'm showing off all my Master Balls and all that stuff because I'm a uh, Mad Leet and all my uh, all my items. But yeah, anyway, we're having a having a rematch because our uh, last time was really close and uh, I just lost because of his Scarf Magmortar. So I was really eager for having to have a rematch. And uh, this is a new UU team that I just put together. I spent a little bit of time doing it. Uh, I didn't really get to see many of my Pokemon to their full potential in this match, but um, hopefully we'll later. So I send out with my new spirit team that I uh, salved with Japanese name, freaking Lee. I pursued its choice banded um, as he switches, so it's going to do a dump load of damage. He taunted me because he didn't want me to be setting up Stealth Rocks or any of the uh, stuff that spirit teams usually do. And I just pursued because I'm banded and uh, there's no, I don't. Um, there's no point in me really switching because uh, Pursuit's going to be not be too great for Electrode. He um, T-bolts me, and I knew that was a crit because I've got max special defense. I've got like nearly 300 defense, 300 special defense on this guy. So he can take hits really well, and that crit was unlucky, but that's that's alright. You know, he was, I would have died to a, his bullet punch anyway, probably. So I go to my Osama because uh, Uxie looks like a Osama Bin, looks like a, uh, Osama bin Laden with his... Uh, Turbine there, no racial, no racial. So he overheats, and that uh, after I set up my reflect, which is fine. Ref this team, uh, I've sort of made it so they they work together pretty well. I won't go telling you what all the tactics are straight away because uh, this is just the first time I've shown. So he overheats again. Uh, this that's when I figure out his um choice. I'm not sure what at the moment whether his choice scarf or specs. And uh, I take this is my physical wall uh, season the Hariyama, and I think I. Yeah, well, in just because I didn't expect him to switch, and um, but it worked out fine. Whatever, whirlwind's a whirlwind, and um, goes out to primate, and I know primates are always choiced because they're useless otherwise, practically. Or well, not, they're not useless. That's uh, but anyway, so um, he goes to that. He turns away. I knock off. I knock off his leftovers on Reggie Rock, which is always it's, it's always handy to get leftovers off walls, and then I um, I know I'm gonna outspeed, and I brick break. It does a decent amount. And I know I'm pretty safe from whatever he wants to do because of the reflect up. And uh, he stealth rocks. That's cool. I think I already have mine up. Because the Uxie would have done that. Yeah, and I ice punch it predicting the switch. But, um... <laughs> but, yeah, gay. So, it didn't, it didn't switch. It's fine. I have predicted too early on. That happens sometimes. I take the explosion like a beast. It would have killed me without the reflect, which is lucky I have it there. It's why I have it there for those sorts of things. Goes to Moltres, takes his takes a crap load of damage from Stealth Rock, which is why I put which is why I went to the effort of pretty much sacrificing Uxie to get them up there. He air slashes. Super effective. Um I don't I don't, to be honest, I didn't even think about um the air slash at the time. And he um he air slashes again and I thought he was scarfed because after this DD he still outspeeds me, but apparently he's not scarfed, he's spexed. So obviously Moltres is just slow. I mean I'm fast because I thought I'd be able to DD up I knew I'd survive one air slash DD up and then waterfall for the KO, but I didn't outspeed. So I go to this guy, my, um, I really like this Clefable. I had a battle before with a guy who DC just as I was beating him because he's like, I don't, I don't take losses to guys who, um, wish protect. And I'm just like, wow, you're a loser, buddy. So, yeah, never DC, guys. I'm just put that out there. So yeah, um, he air slashes. I wish protect. I mean, I think my toxic miss then, and my wish gets me back to full. He air slashes again. I, I'm a bit scared of air slash because of the 30% chance of a flinch. He gets it. One and a bit in six, so it's uh, not uncommon. So, he gets, um, yeah, that's right, well, 30%, or well, whatever. So he gets, he air slashes again. I use toxic at land, so this thing is definitely on a timer, because I'm um, I knew he wasn't going to switch out, especially because of the stealth rocks, and also because he's choiced. And uh, I protect, just so I can get some lefties gain, and survive an air slash and get a wish, while Toxic takes him down. So that's my plan at the moment. And um, yeah, he air slashes, and that I survive that because of leftovers. I get my wish, now I can protect a stall off the wish, and um, that's good for me. I don't really like Toxic stalling, Toxy stalling against... Uh, friends on YouTube and stuff and all that, but I don't mind doing it against random. So I kind of felt bad doing this to Prodigy because he's a really good guy and a good battler, but I had to do it because that, um, I, I was down like 3-5 then, I think. 3-4 or something. So you guys have to hit him on top. I know that he's going to close combat. 
and I was like, whatever, I'll just go to this guy to um dodge it. But no, here are fake outs. And I set up my light, I'll reflect again, because re reflect ro is what really supports my Clefable. And because I reflect, I live with 13 HP, which is uh, pretty beast. And he goes, his life orb's slowly taking him down. Bullet Punch is obviously going to KO me because I had only 13 HP. I got out of my Alakazam, and I, what lost me the game was... Oh, yeah, spoiler there, but anyway. What lost me the game was that I had swapped this, was swapped my choice scarf with specs the very last moment. I was, like, standing in front of the lady in the little blue room, and I'm like, specs or scarf? Hmm, I used specs last time. I'm, I mean, I used scarf last time. I'm going to use specs. So, yeah, a bit pissed off there. He extreme. He switches out. I mean, I switch out, not wanting to take the extreme speed that I knew was coming from Arcanine. Uh, he does extreme speed, and it hits me. I get a wish. This turn, I think. Oh, no, I toxic, sorry. Just, uh... I don't know why there, but whatever. Yeah, because uh, I have the Reflect up, so I know I can take a few extreme speeds. So, yep, Toxic him. And he withdrew there because... Dunno. Because he... Yeah. Anyway, yeah, I wish. Just because I knew I could survive another extreme speed and then protect. So, yeah, I'm going to protect to see what he's going to choice himself into. Close combat. Kind of, kind of majorly obvious, because he's not going to do anything else. Wish comes true. And I was like, hmm, I might be able to live this with a... um. I might be able to leave one with a reflect up, and uh, I do, and then I go for the toxic, and it missed, and I was like, damn, my reflect's gone, and the toxic missed, so I'm just going to leave this guy in for death fire, because um, nothing really else I want to do with him, so his parents alright, it's got a couple of, um, it's got two defense drops and whatnot, so he's not going to want to stay in there, so I knew he was going to Arcanine, and... I psychic here, and I was like, I, I don't know why he switched, really, because he could have stayed with that guy and come in for the range kill extreme speed of my Arcanine, and I, he would have won. But then he goes into this guy who he thought was expert belt, but was actually scarfed. So my specs guy, who if I'd kept the scarf on, would have had sped, and I would have won. So GG, again, we'll have to have a rematch, like I said last time, so yeah.